Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the word. And I thank you for watching uh, here with me. Let me uh, turn on the light so you can see me better. Ah, how about that? Um, okay. So anyway, uh, we are in, um, uh, we're talking about the prophecies of the birth of Jesus. Okay, we've covered the first eight. Today, today we're covering the ninth prophecy. Okay, and that is um, that he would be born the seed of Abraham. Okay, so sometimes you hear that phrase, like people say it to me all the time, like, oh, you come from good stock. Well, that's because the, they're talking about my parents and, and grandparents of, of who I came from. And so that because they were good people, I must be a good person too because I came from good stock. So anyway, um, Jesus comes from the stock of Abraham, you might say. Uh, he's born of the seed of Abraham is, is the prophecy. And it's taken from Genesis uh, 17, verse 7. It says this, I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. Okay, so that is the prophecy that was given that Jesus is the only one that can fulfill. There's other people that, that are descendants of, of Abraham. But then to fulfill all those other prophecies that we've just, or the first eight that we've covered, uh, highly unlikely that's anyone else but Jesus. Okay, let's talk about um, the fulfillment of this and where it's found in, in the New Testament. Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, which is the genealogy um, of Jesus. It says this in, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. This is the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Okay. Galatians 3.16, the letter that Paul wrote to the Galatians. These promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. Scripture does not say, and to seeds, meaning many people, but to your seed, meaning one person who is Christ. Paul laid it out right there. Uh, Jesus fulfilled that, that prophecy. So, um, that fulfills the prophecy. I mean, it's pretty easy. I don't have to talk much about it. It's, Jesus came from the seed of Abraham. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue talking about these 15 prophecies that Jesus fulfilled just in his birth. All right? Lord's blessing to you. I'll see you tomorrow.